What it is, bitches? Oh, don't worry about this. I only really use it for cutting paper and, well, people stupid enough to try to mug me. So what I'm doing today is... I've been working on a little side project before I ship out to basic training in a little over a month. Is I'm updating, or I'm rather, shall I say, recreating my Book of Shadows. Now, many of you out there are Christians or atheists or Muslims or maybe don't know what a Book of Shadows is. A Book of Shadows works a little something like a manual. See, for Wiccans and Pagans, such as myself, um, we keep something of a record of prayers, spells, rituals, visions, and meditations that work for us. And, um, let's see if I can cut this paper properly. We keep something of a record, and we call that our Book of Shadows. Why exactly it's called a Book of Shadows, I honestly don't know. But it's also occasionally called a Grimoire. Ugh, ah, yes. I'm taking some of the pages out of my old one and putting them in my new one. And yes, I sewed the cover together myself. No, it's not done yet. I'm still working on it. So, what exactly is the rule, the rule, to keeping a book of shadows? Well, there isn't one, really. My rule is basically, if it works, if you did it and it works, write it down. As a hobby, I generally recommend keeping a journal or a diary to just about anybody, because it's, uh, it's the cheapest form of therapy that there is, and it's just plain fun. But, for those of us occultists out there, especially important if you've had a need in the past and then use a ritual to help correct it, and I say help because using witchcraft is not a fix-all, um, then by all means, write it down. You know, God's forbid you should ever have to do it again. I'm using this thing because I had a pair of scissors and now I can't find it. I'm always losing shit. Anyway, um, there aren't very many things that I would think are absolutely 100% necessary to practice witchcraft, to practice uh, Wicca in particular, um, but I personally would qualify a Book of Shadows as one of them. Um, how it is any electrician, any electrician can carry around a box or a bag of tools and do their job, but an instruction manual also helps. You know, especially for those of us out there who've read about a spell or a ritual or a meditation in your run-of-the-mill poppycock book at a New Age store. It did it, and it worked, but then can't remember it anymore. Finds it handy to write it down, especially if you do the same ritual or meditation with a slight variation. You want to write it down for future reference because you may need to use the same one years from now and not remember it. Shit, I ripped it a little. So yep, this is my art project for the week, is remaking my Book of Shadows. Now I know I can't take it with me to basic training, but once I'm done with basic and AIT, I can take it where the fuck I want. Now, as far as getting a Book of Shadows is concerned, look, I just converted an old sketchbook, you know. I 
bought a cheap ass sketchbook at a bookstore that was about to go out of business and I and that's what I started writing it down in. I personally prefer to use paper that's unlined, but um, that's just me. Because I find that unlined paper, I'm allowed to have a little more imagination with it as well, you know? Um, so really, as far as making your own Book of Shadows is concerned, you really needn't worry about following an exact design, per se. I mean, if it's, if it's good enough for you to just write, write it down like a recipe, ingredients, here's how to do it, then that's fine. I can't tell you what to do, I can only make suggestions, but I like having clean, unlined paper because I like to be able to draw things out. Diagrams, circles, sigils, runes, tarot card spreads, anything and everything that my little brain can think of. Anyway, that's me. And I'm gonna finish working on my Book of Shadows for the rest of the day. This is Coinian81, and knives are not toys, and y'all be nice and have a good day, and all that fun shit. <laughs>